is a video we uh, make a comparison between immersion cooling versus non-immersion cooling. Yeah. We're trying to penetrate one of the battery cells to make it go short circuit, so it went to thermal runaway. Usually when you put a battery cell so crowded, the yeah. thermal runaway will become a chain reaction, so you get a whole pack of burns. Yeah. It didn't with our design, because when the, uh, when the BMS sends that there are thermal runaway on one cell, yeah. we'll uh, accelerate the circulation to bring the heat away. So even that cell, when the will run away, it doesn't go like it doesn't impact your neighboring cell. With the traditional cold play cooling, yeah. we find out we're at least like a twenty percent, uh, twenty thousand degree lower than yeah. the temperature, so we can definitely manage it better. This, I would say, this is the inlet of the water. Yes, the you know, do something. Okay. So we and also the auxiliary energy consumption. I would say because you have to keep. Um, yeah. Propelling the water, or uh, then yeah, not the water, liquid, then the liquid. liquid. So that will be, I'll say, 10% of the energy. Oh, no, no, that. a lot lower than that. Lower than that? I think we can make it lower than 2% of the energy consumption.这个地方能做到30ppm吗？哇，这是可以哎。The concept, the idea is to travel through the jelly roll all the way to the to the collector plate and weld the collector to the terminal in the bottom. So if you pick this part up, you can see where the actual weld takes place. I第一次知道阿拉伯世界还是有这种公司的。那我们去那儿工作算了，我们给他干活。然后我们赚钱，就相当于卖我们的know-how嘛，我们跟他是有代际代际差的，这都是原材料，这是他那个使用上搞过来的嘛，是吧？啊，我就知道这种是给那个电源线或者音音响这种感觉。速度也比较快，这个劲。某人的保时捷。VP还是？是 MVP 好吧？为什么？